Hey everyone. Today's video is going to be a very important one, especially if you follow NEO closely, or if you're keeping an eye on how autonomous driving is evolving across different EV brands. We're going to talk about where NEO currently stands in autonomous driving, how that compares with other major players like Tesla and Xpeng, and why a recent announcement related to Envo could quietly change the future of driver assistance across NEO's entire ecosystem. There's been a lot of confusion, a lot of discussion, and even some concern from investors and users alike particularly around LiDAR technology, vision-based systems, and whether Envo is somehow behind compared to NEO's main brand vehicles. Today, we're going to clear all of that up, explain what's really happening, and more importantly, why this move actually strengthens NEO's long-term strategy rather than weakening it. So let's break this down step by step. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. First, let's address something very important right away. When it comes to full autonomous driving what's known as Level 4 Autonomy, no consumer vehicle company in the world has officially achieved that yet. Not NEO, not Tesla, not Xpeng, and not anyone else. Right now, the most advanced companies in this space are operating around Level 3 Autonomy or Advanced Level 2 Plus systems. That means the vehicle can handle many driving tasks on its own under specific conditions, but the driver still needs to remain alert and ready to take control when necessary. NEO is very much part of that top-tier group. They are actively pushing toward higher levels of autonomy, and one of the biggest reasons they're able to do that is because of their hardware-first approach, especially when it comes to sensors, computing power, and LiDAR technology. One of the defining features of NEO vehicles is the LiDAR sensor mounted on the roof. This sensor plays a massive role in how NEO's driver assistance and autonomous systems function. LiDAR allows the car to create a highly accurate 3D map of its surroundings in real time. It improves object detection, depth perception, and environmental awareness, especially in complex scenarios like night driving, heavy traffic, or unpredictable road conditions. This is one of the key reasons why NEO's assisted driving system is considered more robust and consistent compared to many vision-only solutions. While software is important, the quality of the data going into that software is just as critical and LiDAR significantly enhances that data. Now here's where things get interesting. Many investors and users noticed that Onbo models unlike NEO's main brand vehicles did not include the large roof-mounted LiDAR sensor. Naturally, this led to questions. Does that mean Onbo is inferior? Does it mean Onbo users are missing out on safety or advanced driving features? The short answer is no. Despite not having a roof-mounted LiDAR sensor, Envo vehicles still benefit from NEO's broader intelligent driving ecosystem. They use advanced cameras, radar systems, and NEO's software stack, including navigation-assisted driving features. In fact, Envo's driver assistance systems have already proven themselves in real-world usage. There have been numerous cases where these systems help drivers avoid accidents through object detection, collision warnings, and intelligent braking. So while Envo started with a vision-focused approach, it was never a downgraded or unsafe product. This is where the story takes a major turn. Shen Fei, the president of Envo, recently confirmed something that caught a lot of people off guard. Envo will officially introduce an optional LiDAR-equipped version of the Envo L90. This is a huge development. What makes this announcement even more important is how clearly Shen Fei explained it. He emphasized that this move is about enhancement, not correction. In other words, this does not mean that existing Envo vehicles without LiDAR are suddenly outdated or inadequate. Instead, the LiDAR-equipped version is being introduced as a premium option for customers who want an even more advanced driving experience. Yes, the LiDAR-equipped Envo L90 will come at a higher price. That's expected. Advanced hardware always adds cost. However, Shen Fei made it very clear that current and future owners of the Vision-only Envo versions have nothing to worry about. 
These vehicles will continue to receive over-the-air updates and their driver assistance capabilities will continue to improve over time. NEO and ONVO are not abandoning vision-based systems. Instead, they are offering choice. Customers can decide whether they want a more affordable configuration or a higher-end version with LiDAR. Both paths remain supported. From a broader perspective, this move actually tells us a lot about NEO's long-term vision. NEO isn't just building cars. They are building a layered ecosystem where technology can gradually flow from the premium brand to sub-brands like Anvo. We've already seen this approach work in other areas, and now we're seeing it happen with autonomous driving hardware. LiDAR has clearly worked well for NEO. It's helped them deliver one of the most advanced driver assistance systems in the market today. Extending that capability to Onvo at least as an option was only a matter of time. This doesn't dilute Onvo's identity. Instead, it expands its appeal. The fact that this LiDAR option is being introduced first on the Onvo L90 makes perfect sense. The L90 is a large vehicle, often used for longer journeys, family travel, and extended highway driving. In these scenarios, advanced driver assistance features aren't just a luxury, they significantly improve comfort, safety, and driver confidence. By offering a LiDAR-equipped version of the L90, Onvo is aligning the vehicle's size and purpose with a more premium driving experience. Naturally, this raises another question. Could future Onvo models like a potential L80 also receive this option? There's no official confirmation yet, but this announcement opens the door. If customer demand is strong and the L90 variant proves successful, it wouldn't be surprising to see LiDAR options expand to other models in the lineup. This is how product strategies evolve through user feedback and real-world performance. So let's wrap this up. NEO has not yet reached level 4 autonomous driving, but neither has anyone else. What NEO has done is build a strong foundation using high-quality sensors, powerful computing, and LiDAR technology. Onvo, while initially launched with a vision-focused system, has already demonstrated solid driver assistance capabilities. The introduction of an optional LiDAR-equipped Onvo L90 is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of growth. Customers now get more choice. Existing owners remain fully supported and NEO continues to strengthen its ecosystem by gradually bringing premium features into more accessible segments. From a long-term perspective, this is positive news for users, for Onvo, and for NEO as a whole. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.